Hello, hello, fellow Secure Shell users. So you want to display an SSH warning message to a user before they log in and a message to the users after they log in. So first you will need your operating system up and running. So you can log in through either SSH, which I already have myself logged in here. And as you can see, I am using Kali Linux as my operating system of choice. Now you may be using a different operating system. As long as your operating system supports SSH, you shouldn't have any problems following this tutorial. And like I said, you can either log in um, using SSH, or if you want to boot up into the operating system itself, that is fine as well. So we will begin by displaying a welcome or warning message for SSH users before they log in. So to do that, we need to edit a file um, called issue.net. So you can either start by opening up a terminal session. Or you can use SSH either way. I'm going to use SSH. So to navigate to that file that we need to change, we can use uh, nano. Okay, now we can copy and paste our message in this file here. Let's remove that. And there is our message. And then we can save that by hitting Control X, Y, and Enter. Now we need to make some changes to the master SSH configuration file. And we can use nano once again to open that. And then we need to search for the word banner. And here it is. All we have to do is uh, remove that hash right there so it's not commented out. And then it's obviously uh, showing that the location is an issue.net, which we've already edited that file. So we can go ahead and save this. Control X, Y, Enter. Okay, now we need to restart SSH. Well, that command didn't work, so let's use the other one. Let's just use service SSH restart. All right. All right, so now we will attempt to reconnect uh, through SSH and see if our message is there. All right, we'll go ahead and bring this other window over, and we will log in. And there is our message. But it looks as though the uh, top line here isn't quite centered. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that real quick. So we'll close that one out and bring in the new one. And there we go. Nice and centered. Now, in order to display an SSH message to the user after they log in, we need to edit another file. All right, so now I'll just uh, remove all that, and then we can go ahead and put our banner message in here. Uh, you can either put the same one, or you can customize a banner to your liking. Um, all right, so we will just uh, paste that in there. And there is our message, and then we'll go ahead and save that. Control X, Y, Enter. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and try to log in again and see if we can see both of those messages. All right, log in. There's the first message and the second message. And now I'm not saying these messages will 
um, prevent unauthorized access to your system. Uh, but they are a good way to spruce it up a little bit, you know? It uh, gives that user that's trying to gain access something to look at, I suppose. But they shouldn't be able to gain access as long as you use a nice, strong password. And you should disallow root login if the person is outside the network anyway. That's definitely a good way to harden security. Or if you wanted to, you could experiment with some art. But experimenting with art, that's, that's up to you. It does make it a little more fun, though. Anywho, that concludes this video.